Now let's have a closer look to the addressing in IP version 6. I already mentioned that there is a new length of the IP addresses in IP version 6, length of 128 bits. And an address of length 128 bits allows to have two uh, to the 128 addresses. So the size of the address space in IP version 6 is unimaginable huge. To get a little bit of feeling uh, what uh, the size is, let's have one comparison. This 2 to the 128 uh, uh, different uh, addresses corresponds to the understanding that we have 10 to the 23 IP addresses per square meter of Earth's surface. 10 to the 23 means that we have a 1 with 23 zeros. So 1 with 23 zeros, different IP version 6 addresses, are available for one square meter of Earth's surface. So the idea that this address space is enough for future, is enough for all the wishes to uh, connect mobile devices uh, to the internet, to connect sensors, uh, various types of sensors to the internet. So uh, we all are quite sure that this size, this address space size is enough. Only to give you a feeling, a comparison, what 10 to the 23 means is 10 to the 10. This is the number of years, uh, this is the age of our solar system. Now we have the problem to communicate uh, such, uh, to communicate and to write down such a uh, uh, huge address uh, length. So the idea of this uh, is uh, that this 128-bit address is subdivided into eight 16-bit uh, uh, groups uh, which are written now in a hexadecimal notations with a column as a separator. To give you one example how this uh, is, further, uh, is further compressed, then there is an additional uh, idea, the so-called zero compression. And the idea is to compressing large blocks of zeros. So that uh, only one such the largest uh, uh, substring, only consisting of zeros, uh, is uh, uh, requested uh, in one, is, is comprised in one sequence. I think it's more easy to understand it in example. So here we have the uh, uh, 16 groups subdivided by columns uh, uh, written in hexadecimal uh, in hexadecimal notation. Hexadecimal notation means that we have instead of 10 different uh, symbols to uh, describe numbers, which we are used to have in our decimal notation, that here in the hexadecimal notation we have 16 different symbols. So usually uh, one takes uh, for this hexadecimal notation the first 10 symbols 0 to 9 are used and then for the missing six uh, symbols the first letters of the alphabet are used A, B, C, D, E, F. So here you see this is the E so this number is exactly the, uh, the, uh, the 14 uh, in the hexadecimal description. This is an exercise for you. Please transfer these groups into, uh, uh, into decimal notation to get an understanding. Uh, what does it mean? And what is the observation here is that there is a large sequence of, uh, of, of, of uh, blocks that only contain zero. And the idea now of the zero compression is to exactly comprise this and to omit this, uh, uh, this, uh, zero, uh, uh, this zero blocks. And you see here the leading zeros are suppressed. So instead of the 0, 0, 0 E, we have only an E. And instead of the 
0 C B C, we have only C 6 4 and here this three blocks of zeros are omitted. You see this with a double column and then we have um, a 1 3 4 2, here is nothing to do. Then we have the block uh, 0 E 3 E, this uh, leading zero can be compressed so instead of uh, 0 E 3 3 we have in the compact description E C 3 and here we have two leading zeros we can omit so we have only the F E. So this is the new, the uh, compressed uh, IPv6 address and the idea of this compression is to uh, uh, suppress leading zeros and to summarize, uh, to summary one uh, of the zero sequence. Of course, it's only possible to do this once with omitting the zero sequence. Because here, one can exactly find out, easily find out, how many zero blocks are omitted. Because the system knows that we have eight such blocks, and here we have only one, two, three, four, five blocks. So system exactly knows three, eight minus five, three zero blocks are omitted. If we would have, if we would try to omit two separate uh, uh, zero blocks, then it's unclear what is the size of the first and what is the size of the last because the system can only find out what is the sum of the length of the zero blocks. So this uh, zero uh, compression, this zero block compression works only and may be uh, applied only once. Now let's have a look to the IPv6 address components. The IPv6 addresses, the architecture provides three components for the address. We have a prefix, we have a subnet ID, and we have an internet interface ID. You remember in the IP version 4, we had only two components, the subnet ID and the interface ID. And if you like, we had the prefix which tells us what kind of uh, address class the address belongs to. So here we have much more possibilities to describe such prefix. The prefix is also called site ID. And the site ID describes the type of the IP uh, version 6 address or it designates the location. For example, the internet service provider or the company uh, the address belongs to. Then the subnet ID describes a private topology, for example, within a private network. And the interface ID stands uh, uh, finally for the network interface and can, for example, be calculated from its MAC addresses to make the uh, translation simple, the translation from the IP version 6 address into the uh, hardware address. There are different address types, IP version 6 address types, uh, corresponding uh, and described by different prefixes. So first we have the so-called unicast addresses, Unicast addresses uh, designate uh, individual network interfaces. So uh, such uh, unicast addresses are suitable for the typical point-to-point -point connections uh, as we know this uh, from the uh, traditional uh, internet. Besides of that, we have another type of addresses, the so-called multicast addresses. Multicast addresses uh, identify groups of interrelated uh, network interfaces. So here the message is sent to all the members uh, of the group and not only uh, to a single one like in the case of a unicast address. And then the third type of uh, IP version 6 addresses is, uh, are the so-called anycast addresses. Anycast addresses, they identify uh, groups uh, of functionally interrelated interfaces. Typically, uh, these interfaces have the same interface ID, but the message is not sent to all the members, uh, to all the interfaces, but is sent to one group member, and then the group member is responsible to 
uh, distributed to all the other uh, group members. The idea here is to reduce transmission because in the multicast address the package has to send similarly to different uh, addresses and in case of any cast we have same principle but we can send message to one group member and then the group member inside a uh, local network can take care for uh, uh, for uh, sending this, uh, forwarding this message to all the other group members. There are uh, uh, more different IP6 uh, address types. Uh, we can see the different types, we can recognize and distinguish the different types at hand on their prefix. And here are a few examples. For example, this prefix uh, a, a characterized so-called loopback address, local host, which corresponds in the uh, traditional IP version 4 world to the uh, private address, uh, to the address, not the private one, to the address uh, 127.0.0.1. Then the next uh, address type, uh, the next, next prefix um, describes the uh, uh, type of a link local unicast address. Here only delivering within a local network, so it corresponds in a certain sense uh, to the private IP addresses uh, which we had in the IP version 4 world and which have this shape. Then another prefix is the uh, prefix uh, FFOO. Uh, and this is a multicast address. Uh, this groups uh, of associated network interfaces that can be addressed collectively. We mentioned this already. This is to send a mail uh, in the same uh, to, a, to a number of uh, different uh, members. Uh, uh, and then we have the prefix uh, FF01. Uh, and here the so-called all nodes address which corresponds in the I traditional IP version 4 world to a broadcast. And then we have the FF01 uh, 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 zero compressed two. Uh, these are the all routers address. And this is to send messages to all routers in one area. There are more address types and prefixes. So the, uh, to reach and guarantee backward compatibility with the IP version 4 addresses. The IP version 4 addresses are mapped in this way uh, to the uh, in this way uh, to the IP version 6 addresses. So in a way that the last 30 bits exactly contain the IP version 4 address and the prefix shows that this is an address, an IPv6 address that corresponds uh, in a very simple way to an IP version 4 address. Almost all other IP version 6 addresses are global unicast addresses. Uh, the, uh, previously assigned by the IANA to the regional internet registry to the RIPE for Europe uh, are these area address areas of the address space. The task of this uh, regional internet registry is to, uh, uh, to administrate these address, uh, this part of the address space and to hand over uh, some of the uh, network addresses to the providers that are active in this region. And then the providers, they uh, give these addresses uh, to the subnet to the customers uh, which, uh, whose networks are ca characterized by the subnet ID. And then there are several special addresses in this area uh, that are used, uh, for example, uh, uh, in automatic uh, fashion that is for the uh, 6 to 4 tunneling. That means, we discuss this later in more detail, that IPv6 packages can send uh, uh, as a load of IP version 4 packages 
uh, so to make uh, to support the migration and to deal with the situation that in the internet there are a few networks that understand the IPv6 protocol and there are others that only understand the IPv4 protocol.